subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel hello my dear students i welcome you all to the day 3 of your junior kg online classes i hope you all are enjoying this new method of learning and have learned yesterday's topic really well so students let me introduce you all with today's topic today's topic is very interesting that is we need to check the solubility and insolubility of objects in the water let's take over to the glance of this activity so dear students you all might be wondering that what are these things let me tell you these are the requirements to test the solubility of sand and salt in normal water see in two glasses i have taken the normal drinking water what is this normal drinking water and this bowl contains some sand and the other bowl contains some salt that we normally use in our houses so let's see that either the sand dissolves in the water or the salt dissolves in the water so let's start with it so students i am starting with taking a tablespoon of sand and mixing it in the normal water okay let's start stirring it we have stirred it well now it's time for the salt and let's start stirring it okay after some time we can see the difference clearly in the glass in which i dipped one tablespoon of sand there is sand left in that glass the residue can you see can you see the residue this means that sand didn't dissolve in the water that means that sand is insoluble in water on the same hand we can see that salt dissolved in the water where is the salt it's magic see the salt disappeared it didn't disappear it dissolved in the water this is the test for the solubility of sand and salt in the water and hence the conclusion arrives that the thing which is soluble in water was salt and the thing which was insoluble in water was sand i hope you enjoyed today's session of the test of solubility and insolubility of the two i hope you are staying safe at your homes and stay healthy thank you that's all for today's session Hello my junior kg students i welcome you all to the second topic for the day the second topic is writing time come on let's have a glance over it so students as you can see what is written over here this is small a what is this this is small a a for apple now here you have to trace the letter a first and then you have to write it by yourself let's start by tracing so these dots i am tracing over it that makes a perfect a one more time that makes a perfect a one more time here we have made small a students as you can see here i've completed tracing the letter a Now from this line I'm starting the write, writing the letter A by myself and the same you have to do A what is this A that is small a one more time small a one more time small a in the same way you have to complete the whole page till the end to learn how to write small a Okay, the so second question for the day is to write capital A to M. What you have to write? 
capital A to M. On these dots, we start writing. Let's start. A, A for apple. On the second dot, B, B for ball. On the third dot, C, C for cat. On the fourth dot, D, D for dog. And in the same manner, you have to complete this till M. Students, see, I have completed the capital A, B, C, D till the letter M. Practice this from A to M. The third question for the day is to color small a. You have to find the small a in these circles and you have to color the circle that is having the letter a and small a. Okay, so let's see where is the small a. This is small a and here we are coloring it. See in this way. Okay, it's done. Let's find the other a. Oh, that's here. Let's color it. One more time. Is there any other A left? Yes, the last one. Okay, so now we are done with it. So students, I hope you all understood the small A and capital A to M and then to color and find the small A. I hope today's session was interesting for you all. Keep studying, keep enjoying and parents do not worry about the stationery. Whatever stuff you all are having at your home, use that. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you.